In my recent video, we talked about how to conquer fear. But listen, just because you're fearless doesn't mean that you can be reckless. If you're gonna be photographing your town or your city, that means you're gonna be out in public. And if you're out in public, that means you have to follow social rules. See, when you're out doing street photography, you're not just dealing with an object, you're dealing with people. And something that you're gonna learn is that people aren't thinking too deeply, they're often reacting. And although society has a billion different rules for things, I have three simple rules that you can start following today to avoid any problems down the road. And number three is the most important, hands down. Welcome back everyone to my channel. I'm James Alcatraz. And today I'm gonna to be giving you three rules that I follow. Number one, I never photograph children when they're by themselves. The reason I don't photograph children is the exact same reason why you never get around cubs when the mama bears around. Parents' number one goal when they have their kids is to protect them. And even if your intentions are pure, they don't know that. You're just some stranger taking pictures of their kids. And when you talk to people that do street photography, this is one of those blurred lines that depends who you are. If that's your style, go for it. But understand that if that starts to become your style, you're probably gonna get confronted more than the person that's just taking pictures of people walking down the street. And listen, I'm not here to judge you one bit. I think art is art. And if you feel like you wanna photograph a kid having the time of their life, I think that's your artistic input and you should totally do that. But I want people to understand if they're new to street photography, take this into consideration. Don't let something like this ruin your day of photographing just because you didn't think it all the way through, even though you had pure intentions. Number two, never photograph people that are eating. I learned about this one personally recently. And recently I was downtown photographing people and I was just asking random people on the benches if I could take their pictures and I saw this lady enjoying a meal and I thought this would be an awesome opportunity to get like a real life shot and she was not happy with me one bit. I was a little taken aback because I didn't understand why. And then what she said next made total sense. She said, you know, I'm, I have a mouthful of spaghetti right now. You're not gonna make me look good. And she's kind of right. And then a few weeks later, I'm eating at Thanksgiving and somebody at the table started taking pictures of us while we were eating. And I was a little annoyed by that because I just wanted to enjoy the minute for the meal and I wanted to enjoy the moment with people. And right then and there, I, I understood even deeper that when you're eating, you want to be left alone. If you want to invite somebody in, you'll invite somebody in. Let me know in the comments if people taking pictures of you while you're eating annoys you too. I think number three is the most important and not to sound too dramatic, but it's the difference between life and death. Number three, not being aware of your surroundings at night. And even though I like to think of myself as somebody who's really self-aware and aware of others, I find myself that I am in the moment and I'm not even looking around. I mean, I'm walking around with a thousand dollars around my neck. You're a target. And look, personally, I know that if I was robbed and that I had my camera stolen, I would be devastated because it costs so much of my money and so much of my time. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had any problems doing night photography. All right, everyone, those are my three golden rules that you should start following today to help you have successful photographing sessions out in the streets. And listen, even though society has a plethora of rules, you don't have to know every single one, which is fantastic because all you should really be focusing out there is on creating the best art that you can possibly create. Please like, comment, subscribe. Now get out there and pursue your passions.